See if I can do this. <laughs> okay. I need to. See if you can pry that board up. Watch your head. Sit down. All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah, you could. All right, just lay that aside somewhere. Now. Move that block of wood down there. That thing is a lot more flimsier than I thought it would be. Oh, this thing started picking up. Huh? This thing started coming up. Well, that's only pop. I wouldn't. Am I lined up? Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, I would not try to go up it. <laughs> I ain't liking this thing, but that's what it is. Um, now the test is going to be to drive that scooter up there. Take it slow and steady. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's bending when I sit every time I step. Well, it's going to have some stuff to it, but. <laughs> I think it started bending. Huh? It started bending. It's not it's not bending, it's just flexing. It's rated for six hundred pounds. But I don't like the way we got that supported. I'm gonna have to think about that and figure out something else. Oh, I see what the heck's going on. Come here a minute. See that hinge right there? 
Yeah. Just this side of that block. Yeah. See if you can move that block to where it's under that hinge. That's where I had it before. All right. Well, I, I didn't realize what was going on there. Try, try and do that and see what happens. Hey, you don't know if I can, with, but I'll try. All right, and do the other side. Is it not touching? Not at all. All right, move that back to where it was, that, that one. There you go. Um. All right, I need. All right, I, like I said, I want that wire thing. Your mama said can go to the trash. Who is that? Call to somebody. Somebody back there. All right, yeah, move that wire thing. So, my, I, it's showing 139? Yes, sir. And it's showing 108 on my page. I wonder if that means I've got that much. I don't like that guy at all. I'll bet you that's where our china is sitting. Yeah, he's sweeping dirt. You see him sweeping dirt? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that wire thing needs to go out there and, and, and then I need a trash bag out here. Eventually I'm gonna have to get a garbage can. You see where I hung our strawberries? Yep. Um, okay. And I got to figure out the best place I'm going to park that thing. Maybe. But I won't have to bother you no more about get going in and out. I can just go. Party? Oh, yeah. You're getting better. Take you and your mama. Yep. You're getting better. I've come for a good ways. And, um, <sighs> I wish them tables wasn't so expensive I'd get. No, I don't need another table, though. Uh, but, yeah, get that wire thing, get me a trash bag. Oh, you've already got a trash bag. You're way ahead of me. And I can pick the trash up now with that. And then you can take it out. Um, yeah, the major, uh, take, take this basket here. And put it behind that other basket, pull that basket out and set it behind that other basket. What is that, my drill bit? Yeah. Yeah, just shove it behind there. Take that pack of bags right there and set on top of that crate you just set under there. Oh. 
Um, Okay, drag that tarp right over here. Sweeping the dirt. Yeah, that. Uh, folks, you know what I think? I think I'm going to start drinking water, lots of water. Now, let's see. I'm gonna do my first time ride up and down the up and down the uh <laughs> oh I'm gonna love this so much. <laughs> I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Okay. Let's see how that acts. He don't like that way that thing flexes and moves. <laughs> oh, there are some uh, Mexican tulips. Now, let's see how that does. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Yeah. I love it so much. Yeah. Now. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit more of my freedom back, folks. Just a little bit more. Get that leg up. I can even take that bag of trash out to the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Folks, I feel so... I feel... <laughs> I feel so good I can go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can go. <laughs> <sighs> now I'm gonna need a broom. I could even take this thing in the house if I wanted to. <laughs> oh my goodness! Just look at that. Now, I, ah, ah. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! You know, I wish she hadn't bought them bush tomato plants. There, them things don't never do that. That that's about as best as they'll do is what you're looking at right there. All right, um, I don't know what that is. It's going trash.
It's taken me a little bit, but y'all have seen me go up and down the ramp. I'm not satisfied with the way that is, but um, that's going in there. That's going in there. Now I did make a boo-boo when I was sawing that off and I can't believe I made that big of a mistake. I'm gonna have to, for right now, I'm not planning on using that plug. I will glue that on. Now what is these right here? I don't know what they are, they're going to try. I hear Katie did. Must be time for him. Now, is that a stake of some kind? No. I might could uh, I might Let's see if I can There, that straightened that up. And <clears throat> see them, see how little that tomato is, and it's already turning red. thing ain't worth look at that one there how little that is and it's turning red Oh, 
thing I'm probably going to have to have some ant killer. See, those things ain't worth. I can't remember where my seeds are at. I hit them, put them somewhere, keep, I didn't want them out here getting wet. I don't want that indirect sun. This here has got to go into something else. Um, and actually, I'll probably Okay, get up out of my wheelchair, I kind of sort of walk over here to my scooter, oh. now, Now, I'm on my scooter. I'm going to turn my scooter on. <laughs> the only thing that I have to be careful about
I don't want to run off the ramp. But now, see, I would depend on my grandson. Now see, he's been sweeping the dirt. I'm gonna trim that thing a little bit. My daughter don't want me to, but It needs trimming. And Oh, well, that's what they've been doing. That's what they've been doing. There is some magnolias. I see magnolia leaves. Yeah, there's some magnolias. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Ah, now. We're filling up bags. We'll see how much. I get out of one one bag. There you go, give me that one.
Yeah, I've got a spade coming. Not two more sprays than that, you have it. So actually, I'll get more than two. I don't expect a great amount of success with this. But these two potatoes have been sitting in there for a while and they've sprouted and all that stuff. And so I don't know. This has got a little perlite in it, but that won't matter. I don't know. a little bit softer I want softer than that Those are going to be pretty dang, uh, they're heavy. <laughs> All right, I've had a fairly busy day today. I've been up and down my ramp on the scooter. Tomorrow I'm actually going to get on my ramp. I ain't gonna say squat to nobody, but when I go out the front door, I'm gonna say, Jack, well, Jay won't be here. I'll just holler in there. I'm going for a scooter ride. <laughs> All on my own. Donovan don't have to bring it around. 
All I have to do is unplug I know one thing, I'm going to have to order a new cover for that thing. My cover's got all, all crackly and stuff. Uh, anyhow, uh, got that all done. Well, it's not done. It's not the way I like it. But I'm going to think about it, and I'm going to change the screws that actually bolts it to the deck. Uh, I'm going to change them support somewhat. Um, it just depends. I, I got to looking at my AdSense account. That's the account where your money's in that, that they pay you every month if it's over $100. And uh, so I got just a little bit over a hundred dollars, but now part of that has to go towards the scooter, you know me, towards the uh, the ramp because I use uh, I use I use part of my rent money to finish paying the ramp out so I got to take out of that and put back to my rent money um, and I fill two of them fabric bags you know that you plant stuff in um, I want to see how much how far how much of that one bag of dirt would it take to fill two of them bags? So, actually, I could fill them to the brim with two bags, but I don't want them right to the brim. Um, cause especially on those, because those, I, I already planted the potatoes. I showed a bit, or <clears throat> I made a video of it. <clears throat> And when them potatoes grow in there, you know, it they expand. And uh, so it's going to raise the dirt level up a little bit. But we'll see. This is just a test run. I'm thinking about doing two more bags. And uh, doing two more. I got another bag of old potatoes that sprouted and going crazy. So, we'll see, but now I'm going to take two more of them bags, you'll see those bags in this video. Um, you'll see what the process is. Now you can set them bags anywhere where they get the right amount of light and stuff, you know, sunlight and everything. And you can actually move them around if you want to. <sighs> but anyway, that's the plan. <laughs> I'm just elated about my newfound freedom today. You know, just... <laughs> what was that saying that the blacks used to say? Free at last, free at last. <laughs> Well, Darber's saying, free at last, free at last, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Uh, you know, when I, during the summers when I'm staying at all these different cousins, aunts, and uncles, and everything, and even in the school year, uh, I was amazed by something I couldn't understand. I couldn't wrap my, wrap my brain around it. I wasn't raised in a house, in a family, where you got up Sunday morning and the, gen the main goal was to get cleaned up, get dressed, and get ready to go to church like my cousins were. Uh, especially at Frankie's 
and Lewis, and those are my two favorite first cousins. I had some other cousins I was close to, but not like those two. I loved them boys, and I loved their mama. My Aunt Mamie, and she, she lived to 102. She passed away yet last year. Uh, but thing about Aunt, Aunt Mamie would get up, and she would be going to Sunday school and, and, and everything, and, and, the, and the church sermon and everything, and that usually you had to be over around 9 o'clock. And then the uh, the church service started at eleven. Well, Frankie and Lewis didn't go to Sunday school. They they went to church to church service at eleven o'clock. Now Aunt Mamie and Uncle Jack they're already gone to church. So that means Frankie and Lewis was right there at the house with no adult supervision. And, but yet they got themselves ready, dressed and everything, and went to church. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, why? Why are they doing that? There's nobody here to make them go, so, you know, let's skip. But n no, sir, they wouldn't do it. They would get up and go. And many times I ask, why? Why are you doing this? And I forget what they always told me. But of course, I had to go too then, you know. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but I, that that was a scratching my head and trying to figure out well, why in the world are they going if ain't nobody here to make them go. And that's just the way I was raised, you know. If if if. Mama and Daddy ain't there, or Mama ain't there, or Daddy ain't there. I just sit still and they'll forget I'm there and I don't have to go to church. But, but I did it with them too. And <laughs> I still can't, I still can't understand it. Oh. Uh, just blew my mind thinking about it. I, I don't know. Um, I, when I was young, I didn't, let me check my comfort right quick. Uh, I can't figure out something. All right, my temperature there should be 98.7, so that's kind of normal. Now, I want you to watch, and some people take the temperature in the ear, but if I take it in my ear, it, is, it, it shows me with a fever. There you go. A hundred point nine. Now, why the heck is that? Let me see what my hearing aid here says. And it's high. Why is that? Ninety seven point nine ain't high. Ninety-eight point six. It shows that's a little high. But what I'm saying in my ears, it's I got a temperature. But on my forehead, 
on my forehead, I, I don't have a temp. I, I, you know, it's around 98. Um, but like I was saying, I, as a kid, I would get these bright ideas about something. And and I would act on the spur of the moment. I didn't think things through. I didn't I didn't use my noggin. <laughs> For instance, one time I was going I run away from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. to Jacksonville, Florida. In other words, I'd run away from my daddy to my mama. And of course, as usual, they never looked, when I disappeared, they never looked for me and never thought nothing about it. Uh, they may even have been, boy, I'm glad he's out of here. Uh, but on that particular trip, I'm on a Trailways bus and presumably, and, and I always knew, I knew when and where I was supposed to get off the bus. But on this particular trip, there was this girl going to Orlando, Florida. And I was going to Jacksonville. Well, no, she wasn't going to Orlando. She was going to Ocala, right where I live now. And and Ocala and Jacksonville is about eighty or ninety miles apart. <laughs> so. Her and I, she was sitting in the seat right next to me, and we, we hit it off real big time. She was about my age, and I thought she was a hottie and all that stuff. And I found out she's going to Ocala. And she got to talking she was gonna be afraid when I got off at Jacksonville and she had to go to Ocala she said by herself of course she went somebody else has been sitting in the seat maybe <laughs> but oh no Dauber I come riding in on the white horse, <laughs> her knight in shining armor. Well, I'll just ride, I'll just ride to uh, Ocala when you get off, and then I'll just catch the bus back to Jacksonville. Uh, all that was fine, I guess. Particularly if you had the money to buy a bus ticket back from Ocala to Jacksonville. Never mind the fact that I rode for free from Jacksonville to Ocala. My ticket was to Jacksonville, not to Ocala. <laughs> But they didn't pick up on that. They just figured the idiot would get off where he's supposed to. <laughs> but got to Ocala and I was spinning good. I thought we'd spend a some, little bit of time, a few hours or something together there, you know. And uh, <laughs> But she got off the bus and guess what? Family was there to meet her immediately. And <laughs>
I'm getting ready to get off the bus in my little suitcase and I see her hugging somebody, some people. And she turned around and she waved, you know, thank you. <laughs> and I ain't even stepped off the bus yet. <laughs> so my big payoff was, <laughs> it, it didn't happen. And I went in there to buy a ticket back to Jack's when the next bus was. Number one, the next bus back to Jacksonville wasn't going to be till the next morning. <laughs> Plus, number two, and number two was the big thing. The ticket was like, uh, I can't remember exact, but I was two or three dollars short. So I couldn't buy a ticket. So there I sit stranded all because I was smitten by this pretty little girl <laughs> and my gosh you know what I had to do I had to hitchhike from Ocala uh, to Jacksonville took me two days to go about 80 miles. And it was like four or five different rides that I got, you know, hitchhiking. Four or five different people. But there, I just, I didn't think things through. I just did it on the spur of the moment. <laughs> and and I can't even remember this girl's name today and I I I, I can't believe I can't remember her name. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't even remember what she looked like. Can't even remember what she looked like. <laughs> but it didn't matter really. I mean, I, wasn't nobody expecting me. The people on one end didn't care where I went and the people on the other end didn't even know I was coming. And, uh, <laughs> and when I, when I, uh, finally got to Jacksonville one of my brothers was really ticked off cause I got his room and he had to go back sleeping with my, uh, another brother a younger brother <laughs> which really wasn't fair you know uh, but I was the oldest and I, uh, it wasn't right. <laughs> but anyway, folks, <laughs> that, <laughs> well, she, I was talking to remember that girl's name. And I'm assuming she was about my age, so she'd be about 80 today if she's living. Uh, hey, phew. Anyway, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Stupid little boy I was. Just, oh, I cancel.